Hi everybody, I'm Andy Cook. I'm happy to be a Habitat home buyer. Came to Billingham to go to college in 73, and I have been here ever since. Lived in a couple different places, and then uh, um, had a landlord that I was with for 30 years. And through part of that process, I actually bought a home on the south side. Uh, it was built in 1901, a craftsman uh, place, and it was in pretty bad shape. And rallied all my friends and uh, finances to restore the place and by the time it was all fixed up I couldn't afford to keep it any longer and had to sell it to get out of debt. So I tried to be a homeowner and uh, continued renting from uh, the the fellow that I'd been with before and rented from him for over 30 years. Uh, he died unexpectedly and uh, left me in kind of wondering what was next. Uh, the uh, the housing market being had, had really uh, evolved a long ways since uh, I first started living on the south side and found that I really couldn't afford my own neighborhood anymore. Uh, luckily some friends took me in out in the Ferndale area and uh, I'm living in a motorhome that I toured out of as a musician. I'm going to invite a few more folks to the party. Right. I'm after my last experience I know one little twist <laughs> and things could change again. It's very difficult for the re a regular person uh, even a hard-working one like myself to get ahead. When my my past landlord um, died I had in this house that I was staying in materials for working on his other rentals. Went to Habitat with the the good stuff you know that somebody else might be able to use and while I was there, I saw the sign, you know, homes for the community. So I asked the clerk and they said, oh yeah, we, we do homes, um, go talk to them back in the office. Hillary greeted me and said, oh yeah, fill out, fill out the application and bring it back. And so I just filled it out and left it with them and then proceeded with, you know, figuring out which end was up and getting rid of stuff and where am I gonna go and all that started to materialize. And then I got a call from Habitat uh, saying, we're inviting you to a meeting. Once I got accepted, uh, that's about the time COVID hit. And so I just started working twice a week. I figure I'm going to get some sweat equity built up while the whole world is on hold. Well, I'm hoping that I'll get placed somewhere in Bellingham because um, <clears throat> my, you know, all my work here, my teaching in the schools, all my friends, my activities, you know, having lived on the South Side for most of my life, uh, my world is in Bellingham. Don't take me to the cruise terminal. Only I'm that Alaska ferry. Oh, yeah, I can't wait to get back up for a little more rain. The nature of my work, I travel around a lot to the San Juan Islands, I play at the ski area, I, I tour up in Alaska, but having a place to come home to uh, is what makes that possible for me. A sense of stability and home and, and belonging, uh, community, uh, these are all words that come to mind about having, having a place to call my own. It's a great feeling to know that um, I'm not going to end up under a bridge somewhere. There's this fear, I guess, you know, it's like I'm not worthy or, you know, I, I, I failed. I'm a failure. Uh, but no, everybody in the Habitat is reinforcing that, yeah, you're okay. You tried your hardest and we're here to help, you know. You're, you're willing to put some effort in, we're here to help you. You know, people are basically good and if everybody helps each other out, that we can all live a good life.